Aladdin Retold by Jocelyn Potter Penguin Kids, Level 5 Text Copyright Pearson Education Limited, 2012 Recording Copyright Pearson Education Limited, 2012 Not to be publicly performed, resold, hired, copied, or re-recorded without written permission from the publishers. Copyright 2012 Disney. All rights reserved. Unauthorized copying, reproduction, hiring, lending, public performance, and broadcasting prohibited. A long, long time ago, Jafar sat on his horse in the middle of the Arabian desert. It was a cold, dark night, but he did not move. He watched the desert and waited. At last, a short man arrived on horseback. The Cave of Wonders! There! I found it! The short man said. Jafar smiled. Good, he said. Now go inside and bring me the magic lamp. I only want the lamp. The other treasure is yours. Jafar followed the short man to the door of the Cave of Wonders. Only one man can enter, the cave said. A man who is better on the inside than he looks. The short man stepped slowly inside. The cave door closed with a terrible noise, with the short man inside, and Jafar had no lamp. Jafar's parrot, Iago, was on his shoulder. What shall we do now? Iago cried. We have a big problem. In the city, Aladdin ran through the streets with his monkey, Abu. Stop, thief! the guards shouted. You stole that bread! Aladdin ran faster, faster than the guards. He saw two hungry children, and he stopped. Take this bread, he said to them. He turned sadly to Abu. One day, he said, we'll be rich and we'll always have enough food. The sultan talked to his daughter in the palace garden. It's the law, he said. You have to marry a prince before your next birthday. But I don't like any of them, Jasmine cried. I want to marry for love. Oh, I hate my life. I never leave the palace. I never do anything. But you're a princess, her father said. After he left, Jasmine looked at the high palace walls. I'm going outside, she said. What can I do? The sultan asked Jafar. Jafar was the sultan's advisor. Jasmine must have a husband. Jafar smiled an ugly smile. I can help if you give me your magic ring. No, the sultan began. He looked into the eyes of the gold snake on Jafar's staff. Oh, yes, the ring is yours. Jafar laughed. Soon I will be sultan, he said. Now who can enter into the cave? He looked into the magic ring and saw Aladdin.
In the market, Aladdin watched a beautiful girl. She picked up an apple. The apple seller became angry. Aladdin took her hand and they ran. He led her to the top of a building. They could see the whole city. Aladdin pointed to the palace. I'd like to live there, Aladdin said. I have nothing here. I'm a prisoner. The people in the palace are the prisoners, the girl said quietly. Aladdin looked into her lovely eyes. Suddenly, some guards arrived. Do you trust me? Aladdin asked. Yes, the girl answered. Then jump! They jumped down to the street below, but the guards caught Aladdin. I'm your princess! Free him! The girl cried. Princess Jasmine? The guard asked in surprise. I'm sorry, I can't. My orders come from Jafar. Jasmine ran to the palace. She asked Jafar about Aladdin. You're too late, said Jafar. He's in prison. There was an old man in the prison, too. Aladdin said sadly, I love a princess. Come with me to the Cave of Wonders, the old man said. If you have treasure, you can marry her. She has to marry a prince, Aladdin said. It's the law. The man laughed. Rich men can change laws. Follow me. He touched a stone in the wall, and the wall opened. Stairs led out of the prison. Bring me the lamp, the old man said outside the cave. And the other treasure is yours. The cave spoke. Enter, Aladdin but touch only the lamp. Aladdin and Abu climbed inside. There was treasure everywhere. A magic carpet took them to the lamp. But then Abu touched the treasure, and the cave became angry. When Aladdin tried to leave on the magic carpet, the cave door closed. He was a prisoner. Outside, the old man waited. He was really Jafar. Aladdin rubbed the lamp. Suddenly, a genie appeared. At last! I was bored in there, the genie said. Master? You have three wishes, and there are three rules. I don't kill. If you die, you die. And I can't help you with a woman who doesn't love you. You have rules? Aladdin laughed. Huh. Can you get us out of this cave? I think not. Whoosh! Suddenly, Aladdin, Abu, and the magic carpet were outside with the lamp. Now, your second wish, the genie said. My first, Aladdin said. That wasn't a wish. Hmm. What would you wish for? I'm a prisoner in the lamp, the genie said sadly. I want to be free. Okay, 
That will be my third wish. But first, I know a fun, smart, pretty girl who's a princess, Aladdin said. I want to be a prince. So the genie gave him new clothes and made Abu his elephant. Now you are Prince Ali. Back at the palace, Jafar read from a piece of paper. If the princess can't choose a husband before her next birthday, she must marry the sultan's advisor. But only a prince can marry Jasmine, said the sultan. Jafar pointed the eyes of the snake at the sultan. The princess will marry me, Jafar said. You will order it. Then I will be sultan. The staff's power was too strong. Yes, the sultan agreed, if she can't decide. Aladdin rode to the palace on his elephant. I'm Prince Ali, he said. I am here to win the princess. Another prince? Good, said the sultan. But Jasmine heard them. Win, she said. I think not. She walked away, and her father followed. Genie, help me. Aladdin said sadly. She doesn't want me. You'll have to tell her the truth, the genie said. You're not a prince. I can't do that. But I'll go and talk to her, Aladdin said. Aladdin climbed onto Jasmine's balcony and called her name. What are you doing up here? She cried. Then she looked at him carefully. Aren't you the boy from the market? Oh, no, Aladdin lied. I'm a prince. Other people go to the market for me. Princess, you're very beautiful. Yes, and I'm rich too, Jasmine said angrily. And you and every other prince want my money. Now go away and jump off that balcony. Slowly, Aladdin turned and jumped. No, cried Jasmine. Then she saw Aladdin's face on the other side of the balcony. Oh, how did you do that? Aladdin laughed. This is my magic carpet. Do you want a ride? Do you want to see the world? Jasmine was not sure. Do you trust me? Asked Aladdin. Those words. The boy in the market asked the same question. Yes, Jasmine said. She climbed onto the magic carpet, and they flew above the city and through the clouds. Jasmine smiled at Aladdin. You are the boy from the market, she said. Tell me the truth. Uh, Aladdin answered. And he lied again. No, I really am a prince, but sometimes I enjoy walking through the city in a street boy's clothes. Now love shone from Jasmine's eyes. I understand, she said. Aladdin took her back to the palace on the magic carpet. After he left her, he felt very happy. Everything is going well, he said. 
Suddenly, Jafar's guards were in the palace garden. They caught Aladdin and threw him into a river. Aladdin and the lamp fell to the bottom of the river. When Aladdin's eyes started to close, the lamp touched his hands. Aladdin, cried the genie, you have to make a wish. Speak to me. But Aladdin could not speak. Say, save my life, the genie told him. Okay, yes, I saw your head move. Whoosh. Aladdin was on land again. At the palace, the sultan came into Jasmine's room. Oh, father, I'm so happy, Jasmine said. Good, because I have a husband for you, the sultan told her. His voice sounded strange. You are going to marry Jafar. Jafar walked toward her. I will never marry you, Jasmine told the advisor angrily. Father, I choose Prince Ali. Prince Ali went away, said Jafar with a big smile. Oh, no, he didn't, said Aladdin from the balcony. Jafar suddenly stopped smiling. Tell the truth, Jafar. You tried to kill me, Aladdin said. He took Jafar's snake staff. And you use this to give the sultan orders. He broke the staff. What? I trusted my advisor, the sultan cried. Guards, take Jafar away. This isn't the end. Jafar shouted. The sultan turned to Jasmine and saw her in Aladdin's arms. Can it be true? He said happily. My daughter loves a prince. You will marry. And then you, boy, will be sultan. Jasmine loves you the genie said happily to Aladdin. So, what are you going to do next? Repeat after me, I'm going to free the genie. Genie, I can't, Aladdin said sadly. They want me, no, Prince Ali, to be sultan. I can't do it without you. The genie stopped smiling. Why am I not surprised? He said, you never tell the truth. He went angrily back into the lamp. I have to tell Jasmine the truth, Aladdin cried. Ali, please come here, said a voice from the garden. That's Jasmine, said Aladdin. He ran happily outside. But the voice came from Iago, Jafar's parrot. The parrot quickly flew inside and took the magic lamp. He carried it to Jafar in the palace prison. Jafar smiled his ugly smile and rubbed the lamp. The genie came out. He was still angry with Aladdin. But Aladdin was not there. It was Jafar. I am your master now, Jafar told him. Genie, here is my first wish. I want to be sultan. Jafar said. Suddenly, 
Jafar stood in front of the sultan and Jasmine in the sultan's clothes. What's happening? the sultan cried. I order you. I give the orders now, Jafar said. Genie, with my second wish, make me a magician. So Jafar became a magician. His snake staff was in his hands again. Go down on your knees, he ordered. The sultan and Jasmine went down on their knees. Aladdin ran toward them. This boy lied to you, Jafar told Jasmine. He's just a street boy. And now I'm going to send him to the end of the earth. Whoosh! Aladdin suddenly stood on a cold mountain in his street clothes. Why didn't I tell the truth, he said. Why didn't I free the genie? I must make everything right. Then he saw the magic carpet in the snow. He flew back to the desert city. The Sultan and Jasmine were Jafar's prisoners. Aladdin hid and watched. Only Jasmine saw him. You can be free if you marry me, Jafar told Jasmine. Never. Genie, Jafar said. He knew nothing about the genie's rules. With my last wish, I want Princess Jasmine to love me. Aladdin moved closer. Jasmine did not want Jafar to see him. She was a good actor. I love you, she told Jafar. You're so handsome. Jafar smiled. Then he saw Aladdin too. How many times do I have to kill you, boy? Jafar shouted. He and Aladdin fought. Get the lamp! Aladdin shouted to Jasmine. But Jafar was too quick. He used his snake staff to stop her. Are you afraid of me, you snake? cried Aladdin. I'll show you a snake, Jafar said. He used his magician's powers and turned into a snake. Then he caught Aladdin and held him tightly in his tail. Without the genie boy, you're nothing, he shouted. Aladdin thought fast. Then he laughed at Jafar. The genie has more power than you'll ever have, he said. He gave you power, and he can take it away. The snake's head looked at him. Jafar thought about this. You're right, he cried. I wish to be a genie. This was Jafar's fourth wish. But the third did not follow the rules. So the genie had to make Jafar into a genie. Aladdin ran to Jasmine. Why did you do that? Jasmine asked. Trust me, Aladdin said. Now I give the orders, Jafar cried. But Aladdin had the lamp in his hands. He held it up. Aren't you forgetting something? He asked. Genies aren't free. No, cried Jafar. Whoosh. Jafar was a prisoner inside the lamp. Aladdin, the genie said happily, you are a smart boy. 
he took the lamp and threw it far across the desert into the Cave of Wonders. I lied. I'm not a prince, Aladdin told Jasmine sadly. I can't marry you. Oh, that stupid law, Jasmine said. The sultan arrived. Sultans can make new laws, he said happily. Now princesses can choose their husbands. You! I choose you! Jasmine told Aladdin. Aladdin turned to the genie. And with my third wish, you're free! Free at last, the genie cried. I'm going to see the world. And they all lived happily.